What's for dinner? Hello. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to another video. I'm Chef Z and this is my channel, Chef Z Cooks. We're gonna do a different type of video today. So what I'm gonna do today is pretty much take you like a day in the life. Spoiler alert, every single day is different because I never know what the hell is happening <laughs> every day you know sometimes i spend a lot of days in the kitchen developing recipes other days i spend a lot of times like editing videos and stuff like that and honestly i do these like day in the life type of like video more or less more so for instagram but a bunch of you have told me that y'all actually don't have instagram so i was like oh okay so you guys are like missing a whole lot <laughs> By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, I will link it either here or here somewhere so you guys can follow me. But it's just a day in the life. Um, it's a little bit early. I am flying solo today. I probably look crazy. My hair is no me peine. I haven't combed my hair. Um, I have on no makeup. So you are getting me in my rawest form. Um, no, so we have a jam-packed day. And I thought it would be kind of interesting or maybe not you let me know in the comments a kind of day in the life behind the scenes a little bit you guys know usually my husband my amazing husband is usually behind the camera helping me film but today is actually a little bit different um i'm actually filming this video entirely by myself so hopefully everything is in focus and i'm not blowing out the levels with the mic because it's kind of what he does so that i can just focus on making the food look pretty and making sure that I don't burn the food. Um, but pretty much what I'm doing today, um, I'm actually filming some sponsored content for Instagram. I'm editing another Reels also for Instagram. Um, I already edited uh, two videos for YouTube. I'm just adding the final touches for that. One of them has to do with my home. Um, and by the time you guys are seeing this video, those two videos should be out. Unless, of course, I see them and I'm like, oh no, which I'm famous for. Um, so yes, I'm just filming some sponsor content today. I'm editing. Um, I kind of want to show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. It is nothing special. I am literally having some instant oatmeal with some almond milk. I do a really bad job at eating before I start with a really long day. And the one thing my husband today, because he stayed at home, he's not feeling well. He's a little sick. He was like, make sure you eat before you film because filming a video especially food content and sponsor content that I have to take like beautiful photos of uh, is the worst when you're doing it on empty stomach. So I'm going to have some oatmeal to hold me down. Um, I also prepped my salad, which let me get, hold on. It honestly, it honestly looks all kinds of crazy right now. <laughs> yeah. It didn't really survive the card right here, but I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah. So pretty much, and obviously I'll show you this when I actually eat it, but you guys have, there you go. You guys have honestly seen me make this salad a million times. It's pretty much the arugula salad that I like to make with some tomatoes. Usually I make it with some mozzarella cheese because it's more like a Capri salad, but your girl, I'm a little dairy sensitive, so I went with something that's a little bit easier on my stomach. So I have like the shaved Parmesan cheese. So good. A little bit of feta. I'm gonna add some garbanzo beans to it later for a little bit of protein. I added tomatoes. I like to add a little bit of pesto, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. I shake it up and that's like my go-to lunch, but that's for later. Right now, we're gonna have some oatmeal. We're gonna spend the day together. Hopefully, it's not a complete struggle bus. I am a little bit stressed out. I'm not going to lie because I'm working on a super tight deadline. Um, I personally want to film and edit these videos in the same day, which is doing a whole lot. I don't normally do that, but it's doing a whole lot because as you guys know, you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about it. But we are building a house and this is literally my busiest time of year. So the fact that we also have to make some final decisions on the house um, around the same time. It's literally a lot to juggle. Like I'm not even kidding. You don't realize. Like it is. I'm not going to lie. It is fun building a house and choosing everything that you like and customizing it to your liking. But you don't realize just how many decisions you have to make. Um, you know with every, every little single detail from 
bathrooms to kitchen to flooring to like i'll give you a perfect example like in the shower like where do you want your shower niche like the little cutout like you have to tell them exactly i want it x amount of feet up off the floor this amount of feet you know and like it is it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot of decisions and then you obviously just have like the added pressure of like you don't want to make the wrong decision and you don't want to rush these decisions so when you're juggling that and work it can kind of get a lot, but that's what today is about. You know what I'm saying? We're spending the day together. Y'all going to see me struggle or maybe hopefully not. But let's get going because I'm a little hungry and what time is it? I want to film this video in two to three hours because believe it or not, filming food videos takes a very long time. So I'm trying to like film it in two or three hours and then edit it in another like four hours so that I can then send it off to the brand early for approval so that I can then have some time dedicated to myself to kind of handle some personal things. So here we go. I think I added like just a touch too much almond milk, like a quarter of a cup. Me lleve de gusto. <laughs> but it's still really good. I like to add a little bit of like some slivered or some shaved almonds and some dried cranberries because it kind of reminds me of the oatmeal that you can get at Starbucks. Now, I haven't had the cinnamon spice one in a while, so I can't remember if it has sugar if I need to add some. Hold on. Mmm. It is perfect. Perfect. So. Usually if you let it like sit, it expands and it will absorb some of the almond milk, but I actually really like it warm. I'm pretty hungry, so I don't mind. It's more like a, more like a hot cereal, which I don't mind. But if you're making instant oatmeal, definitely follow the directions. <laughs> I never realized that it wants you to actually put the milk in the packet and then in there. So I usually just measure two thirds of a cup. And then add it and today i eyeballed it and clearly i was wrong but it's still pretty good i'm gonna eat my breakfast make a couple of phone calls i gotta call our kitchen cabinet manufacturer because they had some questions about our kitchen layout so i have to call them and then i'm gonna set up for this shoot this sponsored video shoot and we'll take it from there i'm really hoping i can get this all done today but we'll see done making this very fresh very good salsa it's gonna be part of it's gonna actually go in the dish that i'm making for the sponsored video part of it's also going to be for like kind of like set design um staging if you will for like the photos and the video it actually tastes really really good that's all you need i did not add jalapenos to it there's no need to the recipe doesn't call for it but you definitely can all i did was cut up some tomatoes that i had you can use any kind of tomato i'm not one of those people that's like it needs to be x y and z tomatoes as you guys saw i got these like little guys which they're like no longer in season so they're not as sweet as they were like a few weeks ago but i just cut some of that up some onions some cilantro a little bit of lime some salt and pepper you guys can probably see behind me some of the other stuff that i'm going to use to like um you know make it nice and pretty but it's really good this is like now obviously i'm gonna be the one eating this today because i'm playing solo so i can double dip in here all i want 
before I get some nasty comments down below. Uh-uh, keep it to yourself. But I am sort of, kind of, sort of, kind of not making some time back, but we'll see. So what I'm going to do next now is actually set up the cameras for the video, which means I might actually need this camera. So I don't know if you guys are going to see the full behind the scenes of me filming. We'll see, because I have another camera that I might use, but... Did your girl remember to charge the batteries? <laughs> King sabe. King sabe. Here we go. Oh my goodness, bro. King and I. Oh my god. Me pene un poco. Just a little bit. Um, I always film food videos with my hair up, obviously. It's funny enough a question I get asked all the time. But when I'm like dealing with like the food, my hair is for sure up. I put a little bit of makeup on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I gotta take some photos and I do like to kind of take photos with me and the food. And you guys tend to like that as well. What are you doing? You're so creepy. Why would you do that? We have cameras and my husband is homesick, but he just pranked me and it scared the living daylights out of me. You know what, that's my cue, I gotta get to work. <laughs> saw the previous clip to this right here can you believe it or not it's been i don't even know where to look in this camera it's been four hours that is already six hours on my feet the day is practically done because it's about to be four o'clock and i haven't had lunch i was talking all this mess about that salad and i'm most likely gonna have it for dinner i made this though mm. Looking at the viewfinder, so it might look weird. Ah, <sighs> some good guacamole. You guys will definitely see this Instagram reels because it's a Instagram sponsorship. So y'all will see this by the time this video is out. And this is the most lunch I'm having today because I don't know how to get on the It's crazy messy. I definitely want to just start editing this. So I'm like debating if I should clean or if I should just jump on the edit. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of guac. Mmm, so tasty while i edit some chips and guac while i edit my family will be proud of me because again i'm terrible at i always forget to eat funny enough so i think i'm gonna have some chips and guac while i edit and then i'm going to clean the kitchen at the end and then i'll go home i'm so tired already greetings from my editing desk if you can't tell i am so annoyed I'm so pissed because this video should not take me this long to edit. I don't know if it's because maybe this is a sponsor video or because it's just like the universe is against me right now, but I'm not lying to you. Like I'm looking at my computer right now and the video files that I just filmed today are not linking. It's taking forever. It's now two hours. It's almost six o'clock. I'm hangry. Like, yo, I could fight somebody right now it was good but i said that you know this was a day in my life and i was like you know i almost gave up on the vlog and i was like you know what throw the whole day away throw throw it all away i was like no this is real life i'm over here i have a migraine i haven't eaten amen i ate the oatmeal i did i ate it when i did because i had like two three things of guacamole and i decided like you know i'm not in the mood for guacamole i really want my salad but i was like you know what maybe this is how my brain works maybe like the salad is the incentive to finish the edit early that's not how life works because now i have a headache because i haven't really eaten a real meal today i had like oatmeal everything is going wrong but like i said every day is a different day and i'm looking i can see my kitchen from here it's a mess y'all it's a mess um so it's six o'clock i'm still not done Ain't no telling what time I'm gonna head home now. And I feel bad because my husband is homesick. But at least I made him some soup 
and I made him soup yesterday and so he has some leftover today and if you want the soup recipe a matter of fact I'll link it down below I made him my classic chicken noodle soup which I've shared a million times on my Instagram and I have a dedicated video here on YouTube as well on how I actually like to make it the only thing that he had me do differently is he had me add corn he's like my mom in the sense that he loves corn in the soup so that's like his me I love yuca like to me sopa no es sopa sin yuca for him it's corn i just wanted to share that a little bit because i i was really hoping that by right now a i would have had lunch already and b i would have been on my way home <laughs> to have dinner but we here let's hope i don't flip this freaking table and just because that's how upset i am so i had a little bit of success i had to like calm down because again i was like super angry um and upset and i realized that i actually filmed the video in 8k like who does that like there's no need to i forgot that we were experimenting with our cameras and we were trying to do something cool and i just like never changed the damn setting and my camera never like gave out because what i was filming was essentially like a 90 second video so the clips weren't that long but it's taking forever for the video to be ready and i was like why and my computer was acting slow then i realized it's like girl you was editing 8k footage like what is wrong with you with that being said my day is still far from over um i have to do the dishes now which i've been trying to do now for like hours like legit hours um i'm not gonna eat here i'm gonna eat at home <laughs> the salad that i prepared for myself this morning i'm gonna take it back with me but like a little kid who comes home um, when you like make their lunch and like they made a trade at school and so they didn't eat their lunch and they and mom's like y que paso? so i'm gonna just enjoy my salad for dinner and try again tomorrow so <laughs> Cleaning the sink is so therapeutic for me. Y'all don't understand. I absolutely love this. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, it is 7.30. I have the only migraine. Probably because I haven't eaten, like, legit oatmeal. We had this moment together. <laughs> Never even got to my salad. Honestly, I'm just going to leave it here because I'm going to be back here tomorrow. So that'll be tomorrow's lunch. And when I go home today, I'm probably going to have a big old bowl of pasta because I'm pretty sure that part of the reason I have the only migraine is because I haven't really eaten much carbs or protein or much of anything other than like some oatmeal and like three chips and guac because even that is saved. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. <laughs> <laughs> this is very much a day in my life. I was really nervous to show all parts of it because it can some days are more chaotic than others. Some days are actually like very boring. Um, a day like today, you guys saw a little bit of everything. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. Like I'm I'm trying some new things here on the channel, trying to see what you guys enjoy. I'm taking you guys along with me with my home building journey the cooking videos like always are here to stay and some behind the scenes and just taking you guys along the ride with me i have the bad habit of when the going gets tough and my life gets a little chaotic and a little hectic i just go ghost especially here on youtube and i don't want to do that and so i figured why why not just take them along the journey <laughs> um i'm gonna regret leaving the kitchen this messy but when i tell you like i have to drive home my head is like throbbing so it's time for me to call it a night i hope you guys enjoy like always join the chef z family and until next time i'm chef z y buen provecho bye guys <laughs>